What's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to transfer files to and from your computer for your Samsung Galaxy S25 series. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel, I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. All right, let's get right to it. So there's a couple different ways that you can actually transfer files to and from a computer, either Windows or Mac, to your Samsung Galaxy S25. However, there is one way that I prefer to use on a daily basis to make everything much faster. So a couple ways you can transfer files is the first one being by connecting a USB cable to your phone and to the computer. And that way is pretty quick. However, you need to have a USB cable and you need to install the correct drivers on your computer. The second way you can do it is by connecting both devices via Bluetooth. However, transferring files via Bluetooth is the slowest way to transfer files. Another way you could transfer files is by emailing it to yourself or to whoever you may need to email it to. So for example, if you have a couple pictures you need to email to yourself, you can just select share and email it to yourself and open it up on your computer. And this way is pretty fast as well. However, logging into your email and all of that could take more time. So the fastest way I like to transfer files is by using this free app called Send Anywhere. I've actually been using this for many years now. It's completely free and convenient. So just open it up. So if you open up the app, you'll, you'll see uh, all your files here that you uh, are able to send over. Okay, uh, you know, you can also do it directly from, you know, the file itself. So let's say that you want to transfer a picture over here in the gallery. Um, once you hit share here at the bottom, it send anywhere will pop up down here. Okay, if not, you can select more and send anywhere will be here. Just go ahead and select it. Okay, uh, you have to uh, allow permissions. Hit okay, allow permissions. All right, go back. And there you go, you're gonna get a code on your phone. That means it's uh, already sending. So all you have to do is open up the uh, Send Anywhere app on your computer. So you have to have it on both devices. So open it up here on your computer. And uh, the other thing I wanna mention is that you do need to have them, both devices connected on the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. So here we go, here is uh, Send Anywhere. Um, all you gotta do here is input the same key that you got on your phone. So 316694. Once it's fully typed in, hit enter. And after a few seconds, it will be completed just like this. You can select the file. Uh, it will be here usually in the downloads folder. Okay, and uh, you can drag and drop it to the desktop or to uh, wherever you want the file to be at. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. So there you have it. And if you want to send anything to your phone from your computer, all you got to do is select transfer here and drag and drop whatever file you want to transfer to your phone into the Send Anywhere app. You will receive the code on your computer and then uh, just type it here on the app. Okay, on the phone app here, you're going to go to receive and then put in the same key that's showing on your computer. 913394, hit receive. And uh, after a few seconds, uh, you should receive the file. There are some ads, you know, since it is a free app. Oops. And uh, also what's cool about this is that there are no ads on the computer version of Send Anywhere. So I transfer a lot of stuff from my Mac to my Windows computer, no ads at all. Here on the phone app though, is where you will see most of the ads. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, th that is the best way, in my opinion, to transfer files to and from a computer and a Samsung Galaxy S25 series. That's it for this video. Go ahead and destroy that like button if this video helped you out and let me know down below in the comments. That's all for this video. Catch you in the next one. As always, peace.